work or at home, whether you're having a life problem, whatever it is, the first step is communication. And relationship expert Dr. Patty Ann Tublin is here to answer your questions for her Tuesday tips of advice. Patty, thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, our next question here. My husband and I have a budget that we both agreed to, but he always ignores it when he sees a grown-up boy toy that he wants. Is there anything I can do to get my husband to stop making these impulsive purchases? This comes up all the time. <laughs> all the time where couples feel like they have a budget and there's one person in the relationship that blows the budget when they see that shiny object in the store or on the internet. So what I would suggest you do is revisit perhaps a little bit more consistently than once a year, like during every other month or something. Mm -hmm. Talk about, okay, how are we doing with our spending? How are we doing with our budget? Are we saving? Are we... Where is the discretionary money going? And if it's not throwing you into debt, these purchases, sometimes the partner will be like, well, what's the big deal? We have the money. The big deal is that you're feeling disrespected because the budget is being ignored. Mm. And if worse comes to worse, a really easy way to work around this is to have separate accounts for discretionary spending. So you don't have to fret when you see him buy his boy toy, and he doesn't have to fret when he sees you buy that seventh pair of shoes that we just had to have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, money and marriage can be difficult, and it is a conversation that you need to keep having. Together. You have to keep having it as your life evolves, and where you want to spend your money will change. And money and sex are the number one and two issues that couples fight about since the beginning of time. All right, so <laughs> perfectly normal. There are just ways to work through it. And there are ways to work through it. Good. Exactly. Dr. Patty and Tublin, great advice as always. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, and send your questions to Dr. Patty and, at Dr. Patty and on Twitter or on Facebook. You can find me. Excellent. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome.